This is where it means the zombies mean. What's up, Fight Fam? Welcome to the Boxing Bros. I'm Caden, and I'm here with my co-host, my man. Trill, you, Trill, you forgot? What's going on? It's Trill. <laughs> <laughs> What's good? It's a G. Well, you can tell it's an early morning right now. <laughs> I was, you know, I was stuck. <laughs> you know, it's you the greatest was... show on earth, TBE. <laughs> All right, and, and uh, this is where we're going to do our AJ ratings and things can get ugly. Uh, hopefully it doesn't. I'm hoping everybody is going to be objective, but hopefully, hopefully we can still remain friends after this. I know. <laughs> I, know. I don't know, man. G's looking kind of, you know, like he's oh, sitting man. on Haterade right now. Let's I see what y'all, I see what y'all did to Wilder. Holy I see what y'all did to Wilder. He got the Haterade in his cup. <laughs> yup, yup. I see what y'all did to Wilder. Again, revenge today. You know what we were objective. Man, boxing we were Bros objective USA, Wilder. not Boxing Bros UK. You know what I'm saying? Let's do it. All right, I'm gonna start off with Ned. I'm share my share my screen. What do you rate Anthony Joshua's power, Ned? I gave Anthony Joshua a 91st power. All right, all right. Trill. What did you give uh, Anthony Joshua for his power? You know, I gave Anthony Joshua. I gave Anthony Joshua a ninety on power. Okay, that's respectable. So we have another ninety. And so since uh, I'm gonna go because before, because I know G is gonna be, we, we we don't know what type of hate G is gonna come with. I gave Joshua a 94. And the reason why I gave Joshua a 94 is because I've seen him knock out and drop elite level fighters. I've seen him knock out Povetkin. I've seen him stop Vladimir Klitschko. I've seen him uh, knock out Dillian White. Those are all elite level uh, opponents. And I've seen him drop Andy Ruiz, someone who was never dropped uh, prior to being in the ring with uh, Anthony Joshua. So I have to say that his power has been tested against elite level competition and it shines through. So I have to uh, give him credit for that. And now I'll turn it over to G. Man, all y'all are bugging. Man, I gave your boy a 60. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, so, what we're gonna do, so what we're going to do nah, I'm joking, is... I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. I'm joking. Right, I'm joking. Nah, real talk. I gave him a 92. You know what I'm saying? All right, I, was <laughs> I was about to say, man, G is... <laughs> I'm going to mess up your big stats. You know what I mean? He's hey, man, we don't – you know what I mean? You don't want to You don't want to mess up your credibility. That's what's on the line. Nah, 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 big facts. All right. I mean, if you really think his power is a 60, though. <laughs> oh, man. All right. So, his, his power overall – 92. All right. So, Ned, what do you give Anthony Joshua for speed? I gave Anthony Joshua 88 for speed, yo. You said 88? Yeah. This, uh -huh. yo, I, like, well, the way I, I did it, I didn't – I did it in the league where, like, nobody's too great. Like, so he's not like a 95 speed or, you know, it's like a, a speed where everybody can keep up with each other. You know, you'll see where my list goes down when we go down the list. Like, I gave I gave Fury a 79. They bashed me, but I didn't give Wilder, like, a 99. I gave him, like, a 91, you know? He's not too fast, but he's faster than Fury, you know? But Fury, he helped keep up. All right, True, what did you give uh, Anthony Joshua for speed? I gave Anthony Joshua 85 for speed. You see? I respect that. I have a five-point rating system over here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the scale is not, not one to a hundred. It's like, what to ten? But you expand it. All right. So, I gave Anthony Joshua for speed. I gave Anthony Joshua 93. So, I think you, you guys are rating Anthony Joshua speed too low. Um, when I seen him in the ring with Dillian White, he was the faster fighter. When I saw him in the ring with Joseph Park, with Joseph Parker, who's a fast uh, heavyweight, he beat Joseph Parker to the punch. He looked slower against Amy Ruiz, but Amy Ruiz has extremely fast hands. And even then, he was able to beat Amy Ruiz to the punch. Now, when you're looking at someone 
um, who's in the ring with trying to exchange with a guy like Andy Ruiz, yeah, Andy Ruiz is going to beat him to the punch. But let's not forget, he beat Andy Ruiz to the punch a number of times, even in the first fight before Andy Ruiz was able to catch him. I think his speed is deceptive. Um, I think he has fast hands and he has fast feet. And I, I think, uh, you know, your ratings of his speed are, are too low. But uh, Well, listen, you know, if you know what? You, you might be right. You might be right, Katie. They might be deceptive because I can't see it. You know what I'm yeah, I'm about, yeah, 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 I'm about to keep it real. You know what I'm saying? Because, right. because I, 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 you know, I was gonna give you the Parker one, but I was like, yo, Parker seemed like he was, he was scared. Parker that was fight. shook. Parker was shook. You know what I'm saying? Seemed like he, he was really scared of AJ and then Dillian. Dillian, <laughs> Dillian, Dillian. But now I'm, I'm not saying he, he's not fast. You know what I'm saying? But he's not, he's not lower than no. No, eighty five. I thought eighty five was decent. You know what I'm saying? He ain't he ain't flash. You know what I'm saying? He he looked he looked he looked amazing against Ruiz, but like you say, he might be deceptive because I can't see. It. <laughs> yeah, so I, I mean, I mean that's that's cool. But once again, it's the same way people thought Pacquiao was faster than Floyd, and I try to tell everyone Floyd has oh, longer know, arms. Yeah. Floyd that's has different. longer arms, and he throws one punch at a time. He doesn't throw combinations. So to the naked eye, you would think. That back nah, nah, faster. Yeah. AJ is more see the target, hit the target. He doesn't like flash the speed. So that's why I think uh, the the ratings are low. But it's it's always what you see. So you know, and, that, and that's Floyd, why Floyd, ten times faster. Floyd, Floyd was always faster than uh, uh, Pacquiao. That's one thing we always said. We seen that when that straight right hand came through. What you mm-hmm. got, G? Man, yo, listen. I, I hear what Kate is saying, but. I still humbly disagree. For speed, I got him at 80. And nah, 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 because, no, and the reason why. You know what's funny? You'll be surprised. If Wilder ever fights Joshua, you're going to see how much faster he is than Deontay Wilder. But go ahead. Nah, so the reason why, for, for AJ's size, he is pretty fast. However, like, the to me, like, seeing, like, a bunch of his fights, right, it's not like he's fast where these guys can't see the punches. They're seeing all his punches. The problem is, like, his size intimidates dudes. And so because of that, like Joseph Parker, he was, he, was, he was scared. You know what I mean? So a lot of guys that he's fighting, like, when he fought Pavekin, Pavekin seen most of the shots. You know, like, Tackham seen most of the shots. These guys, it's not like... There's, they're like, oh, snap, he's so, he's so fast, I can't see it coming. Like, they see most of the shots coming, you know. So, to me, I'm not going to give him, like, spectacular speed as if, like, his jab or, you know, his, like, straight is, like, just blindsiding people. It's not really like that. It's more of his size, his intimidation, the fact that he pushes forward and he applies that pressure on dudes that dudes are getting caught. It's not like he just has lightning hands. Like, he doesn't have that. So, that's how you judge speed. And that's mm-hmm. cool. How I judge speed, because you just you just made a perfect point to why his speed is 93 for me. Speed is how fast can you get there from the moment you see the opening? Not how fast your hands are when you're sitting around shadow boxing, but see the opening, strike it. That's speed. Reaction to the opening. That's how fast you are, right? So wh- how, it doesn't uh, matter okay. how fast your hands are if you can't get to the target. So once again, I uh, you know you got that. Okay, so, I'll, 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 I'm willing to beef up my number. <laughs> no, leave it. I don't want you to change your number. No, 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 but like you make a good point. So it's like you know what I mean. I was viewing it a different way. I was viewing it as like his actual hand speed. But that's I'm keep it that high. way. That's that's right. that's my how I judge speed. I'm not trying to change you. I don't want you to change your views. This is what it is. So I, I tallied mm-hmm. it up. That's how I judge speed, though. That's all I'm saying. So that's why I say he's deceptive. When people are like, oh, if you're busy looking at how fast people are missing a swing, and then cool. But to me, speed is see the open and hit it. How fast can you hit the open target? Like, that's speed to me. Just like you say, when they're open, you say they can see the punch coming, right? But their head still gets rocked. So, I mean, all right. Um, I tallied it up for AJ <laughs> Speed. And you guys didn't give him a bad rating for speed. You know, I just said I think uh, it's low. But the average is good. Eight, well, actually, it's a, it was 86.5, so we're just going to round it up to 87. Mm-hmm. i take that. That's, take not, that. that's not bad. Not bad, not bad at all. Not bad at all. Mm-hmm. All right. 
Um, Ned, what do you got for stamina for AJ? I give AJ 85 for stamina, and it's because oh, you he, said what? 85, 85. Relax, brother. Yo, now I see the hate coming. You see, I right, I respect <laughs> it. I gave him an 85. I gave Wilder a zero for stamina, but that didn't go. Right? Zero? <laughs> you know, a 45 vest. A 45 vest took his legs. Like it took his legs. Like, like, watch your mouth, dude. Dude, we need to relax in this quarantine right now. A 40 pound vest took his legs. But yeah, I give him an 85. Yeah, that wasn't for Wilder in there. Oh. If it was AJ before Ruiz too. It would have been like a 75 because AJ gasses out after like the seventh, eighth round. But he needs to catch that second win. But in the second fight, he showed us that he could go the distance. And he was training. He lost all that muscle to go the distance. So I'll give him an 85. It would be higher if he would have knocked Ruiz out. But let's go. <laughs> he ended fat boy season. You know, I got big in. I just got 85. All right. Uh, Trill, what do you got? I got, I got AJ at 90. I got his stamina at 90. I always picked on AJ as a big, bulky, muscle guy. I hardly ever seen him gas in there. I don't know, like the, the Ruiz fight, the first fight you gave him that. I don't, I don't think the brother was gassed out like that. I just thought it was the shot from the back of the head. I always, he looked even better when the, in in um, the second fight when he got leaner. I always said that about AJ. I wanted him to get rid of that uh, all that that muscle so he could be a little loose in there. You know what I'm saying? That's true. Uh, Lucy Goosey. Lucy Goosey. But he got he got he must have he must have got my text. You know what I'm saying? Cause he went in there and did what I told him to do. You know what I'm saying? AJ has an amazing I'll be impressed. Honestly, I'll be impressed. I'll be thinking that he's gonna gash out like how old Shannon Briggs used to be. How when Shannon Briggs <laughs> nah, that's a guess. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's called asthma right there. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, AJ, AJ, he's for for a guy that's bulky like that, I ain't never seen him like oh, oh, gassed out with his mouth open. All right, all right, my name. Ninety. So I agree with Trill. The reason why I gave Anthony Joshua a ninety is because like you have to be realistic. I've seen him uh, stop Dillian White. He got hurt. He recovered. He was able to get Dillian White out of there. Um, he fought Klitschko. He got hurt. He looked gassed in the seventh, was able to get a second win, and then TKO Klitschko. And then we saw him go 12 rounds with uh, Joseph Parker. Yeah, he got hurt in the Andy Ruiz fight. It was an equilibrium shot. How much of him looking the way he looked was due to the equilibrium shot, due to stamina, I can't really call it, right? It could be a multitude of things. There's also – uh, rumors that something happened. He would never make excuses like some fake champions I know. He mm -hmm. still makes no excuses and say Ruiz was the better man. But what I do know is that when he fought Andy Ruiz in Saudi Arabia, he showed terrific movement. He did it for 12 rounds. He threw punches, and he didn't look gassed at all. And I remember I was speaking with Trill, and we were like, yo, can he keep this up? I remember one round when it was like, I think maybe like the eighth or the ninth, we were like, oh, man, maybe he's slowing down. And then he picked it right back up, the movement, the punches and everything. To me, that's terrific stamina. So I, I, I can't sit here and be like, oh, he gasses out and whatever. You know what? That A lot of things I see Wilder do, moving like that for 12 rounds is something I can't do. So I can't hate on, uh, on that stamina that, I, that he displayed in Saudi Arabia. All right, G. All right, so – First, let me explain how I got yes. to my number. Walk, Walk with him. <laughs> I'm a mute. Man. First and foremost, first and foremost, right? The AJ, I'm looking at it from two perspectives. You're only as good as your last fight, right? So because of that, I'm going to say this. Before the Andy Ruiz 2 fight, I had him at 60, right? But... After the uh, Andy Ruiz two fight, I do have him at 85. So I put the average to 73, but I'm going to explain why, right? So I was like, hmm, I was looking at the, the boxing stats, right, for the Ruiz two, um, for the rematch, right? And it was like around, he threw 643 punches, right? 241 of those were actually jabs. So then I was like, what would be the um a fight that was like similar right to Andy Ruiz 
that I could be like, okay, let me compare my man's stamina from, all right? And so, hold on. Oh, once this dude went full screen, my screen, dis- my notes disappeared real quick. So, all right. So I was like, the fight that was in close comparison was actually the Carlos Tackham fight. Both men, Andy Ruiz, Carlos Tackham, a 6'2". You know what I mean? In that fight against Carlos Tackham, AJ threw 681 punches compared to Ruiz's 643, which is similar. And in, in regards to jabs, was 227 jabs to Ruiz's 241 jabs. So these numbers are a close comparison because, like, with Kisco, he only threw 524 punches. Pavekin only threw 421 punches. So I was like, all right, these two fights had uh, close stats. But with the uh, Carlos Tackham fight, AJ was clearly exhausted to the point where uh, in the ninth round, the referee gave AJ extra time to recover. You know what I mean? And so when I seen that AJ compared to the Ruiz rematch where AJ was fresh all 12 rounds, I have to give him that. So that's why I said he before he was at 60, but now his last fight, he bumped up to 85. So I had to put it at a, a smooth average of 73. All right. You buying that, Ned? It's hate, but it's whatever. <laughs> we'll fly. We'll That's unbiased fly. hate, if anything. You know what I mean? All right, so that brings his average to 85 for stamina. Okay, okay. Yo, so far, this looks accurate, bro. Like, it looks accurate for an agent. I'm just saying. It does. I'm starting to think we were too. I'm starting to think we were too generous with Wilder. No, so I'm joking. It's all about being objective. It's not about hate over here. All right. Um, will you give uh, uh, Anthony Joshua for chin? I gave him a ninety for chin. No, we never seen AJ get put to sleep. You know, he's never been laid out in the ring. He's been knocked down. He gets back up. And you know, if AJ um, Ruiz won, would have went the distance. We probably seen a different fight, but it got called. Called off in the seventh round. So, you know, I give it a 90. All right, Trills. I gave AJ an 85 on the chin. You know what I'm saying? I give AJ an 85. And it's respectable. You know what I'm saying? Shoot. You get, you know what I mean? Everybody don't got, you know, like uh, uh, Jack Dempsey used to, we used to rub on his, uh, his face to make his chin. And the people don't do that back <laughs> People don't do that nowadays. You know what I'm saying? Um, but that's respectable. I give AJ eighty five. You know what I'm saying? I just took, I took, I took away uh, points for you know the knockdowns with um, Andy Ruiz, and I took down you know how we went down from um, the Clisco shot. I don't, I'm not really thinking too much about the Andy Ruiz joint, but that Clisco shot when he put his hands up and just skipped down and fell, I was like, oh no! You know what I'm saying? I seen the pain on his face. On that Clisco shot, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I'm gonna give him 85. All right, share my screen. For Chin, I gave uh, Anthony Joshua 82. So I agree. I've seen him wobble a number of times. Dillian hurt him. Uh, Andy Ruiz dropped him several times. Klitschko dropped him. Uh, he's shown that he can be hurt, and uh, his chin is questionable. If you can get to his chin, you can hurt him. Uh, There's no doubt about that. And so, I mean, he doesn't have a bad chin. He's shown that he can get up every single time that he's been knocked down. He's never been knocked down and stayed down. He's gotten up every single time, but he can be put down. So I think, you know, 82 is what I would rate his chin. Yo, shout outs to AJ, man. Now, when you said that, just remind me of, you know what he is? He's the heavyweight Miguel Cotto. You know what I'm saying? He's excited. <laughs> He's excited. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, excited. man. I'm afraid to even ask. G, what do you got? You know, it's funny, man. I want to change my number. Because y'all got me looking like Boxing Bros UK out here. You know what I'm saying? I have to be honest. <laughs> I actually agree with Ned. I got it at a 90. And the reason why is because, you know, I seen him hurt with Klitschko. I seen him hurt with Dillian White. And I seen him get punished by Ruiz, but he never got knocked out. You know what I mean? And so he eats vicious shots from top heavyweights. So I can't even hate on a dude. I had to give him a 90 for that. All right. All right. 
G giving the chin a 90. And yeah, but if I knew y'all numbers beforehand, I would have. In a shocking, in a shocking <laughs> move. <laughs> a shocking move by G <laughs> to bring the chin average to 87. All right. Footwork for Anthony Joshua. Check my footwork. What you give him, Ned? First footwork, I gave him an 85. I thought AJ, AJ's footwork, uh, he, some before before Ruiz too, he was a little robotic. Some people would say he was robotic, a little stiff, you know, moved like a bodybuilder. But after that fight, after AJ Ruiz too, he was he was all he he learned he was moving around, he was getting out the way, showing he was a little elusive. So I give him 85 for that. All right, Trill Dollar Bill. Footwork, Anthony Joshua. Footwork. I gave um Tyson Fury. If y'all ever see our um our Tyson Fury ratings, I gave Tyson Fury a 90, right? Um, because I think out of the big men, he has the best feet. You know what I'm saying? But the boy AJ showed he's right underneath. Him, you know what I'm saying? So I gave AJ 85. Because that dancing that he was doing in Saudi Arabia, oh, man. Could have called him Twinkle Toes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's, like a compliment. That's a compliment. That's a compliment. AJTT. That's what he's going to call him. <laughs> he's TT now. Not AJ. is TT. Twinkle Toes. <laughs> All right, well, let's just say I agree with you um, because my rating for his footwork is a 97. And I gave Tyson Fury a 97. In my opinion, <clears throat> Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua, the footwork they have for their size, we haven't seen um, in the heavyweight division. Anthony Joshua's footwork in Saudi Arabia in particular uh, remember, Andy Reese was saying he's robotic. He can't learn how to box, and he can't beat me. He's never going to learn how to box. And in that short period of time, he came out and put on a display of magnificent footwork. It was just like magic in there. Like he was moving. He was changing angles. He was stepping in, stepping out. He was switching directions. There were times where if you look at that fight, he would be moving one way, but he'll point to the ref like, get out the way because I'm coming back that way. Like, tell the ref, move out the way. And it was just that type of footwork I haven't seen in the heavyweight in a long time. Fury and Anthony Joshua, to me, their footwork, you know, they got they have the best. I don't know whose footwork is better. I would have to see them in the ring together. But it was only two guys with footwork like that, Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury. He said he was robotic. <laughs> That's what Andy Ruiz said he was robotic. Yeah. Well, he was robotic on them, all right. He was the dancing machine. He was hitting the ropes, <laughs> man. He was the dancing machine on them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> all right, G, what do you give uh, Anthony Joshua for footwork? I did it again, man. I played myself. I gave him an 88. You know what I mean? And the reason why, yo, but this is, it's not necessarily. I respect it, G. Yo, I'm looking at it from a different perspective from y'all, but I, I actually agree with what you guys are also saying. I'm not even looking at the Ruiz rematch. I'm looking at his footwork from all the other fights. AJ may not be the fastest in the ring, but he's excellent at cutting off the ring. You know what I mean? And so because of that, he always gets in front of his opposition. Joseph Parker fight was the perfect example. Joseph Parker's footwork is technically better than, than Anthony Joshua's, but that didn't matter because Joshua knew how to cut off the ring. And so because of that, and maybe that could be a bit boxing IQ, but I still uh, equate that to footwork. And so that's why I have AJ at 88. All right. eighty-eight from G makes the tally eighty-nine. All right, heart. For Anthony Joshua, Ned, what do you got? I gave Anthony Joshua 100 for, like he said, 100, 100 for his heart, yo, because he go in there and he lay it all out, yo. He don't come out with no excuses. If he lose, he lose. If he wins, he's going to commoderate his opponents and everything. So I give him 100, 100. Throw that, throw that clip in there, 100. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, Trill, what do, you, what do you give Anthony Joshua for heart? 
you know, the Nigerian prince from West Africa, all heart, all heart. When he lost to Andy Ruiz, did he make any excuses? Not nope. that I know of. He got back, he went in the gym, you know, got his mind right, and show what a true champion is. Mm-hmm. All heart. A hundred. I'm going to keep it a hundred and give him a hundred. I respect it. All right. So my rating for Anthony Josh was heart. Well, Trill gave him a hundred. A hundred. My rating is 88. And the reason why I gave uh, Anthony Joshua 88 is because every time he's been knocked down, he's gotten back up. And even if you look at the Ruiz fight, he got up and he kept fighting. This is one time in the Ruiz fight where he got knocked down, spit out his mouthpiece, which it looks like he was looking for extra time. But he laid against the ropes and he looked a little bit too casual from, from my liking. And if you look at when Wilder dropped Fury in the – 12th round of their fight, and it looked like Fury was dead. He rose up like The Undertaker. When he got up, he looked at Jack Reese like, I'm ready to go. He was running around. He was like, let this fight continue. And that one moment in time, I feel like Anthony Joshua didn't show his desire to let the fight continue. So I docked him uh, 12 points for that one moment in time. But he also showed tremendous heart when he said, I'm going for the immediate rematch. And I want to right my wrongs when a lot of people are saying you should take a tune-up fight. So he's all heart, much props to him. But there was just that one time where he showed vulnerability to me where it was kind of like, he was like, I'll continue if you let me. Not, you better let me continue. And for that, I had to dock some points. He was Dave. He didn't know what he was. <laughs> That's possible. <laughs> I, I, I'm just saying what it looked like. I'm just saying what it looked like. All right, um, G. Man. All right, so I got his heart at 90, and the reason why is because similar to what Caden was saying, but I actually docked him five points from how he appeared entering into the ring in the first fight against Andy Ruiz. He looked like he didn't want to be in that ring. And then also while he was getting beat up, although, you know, he kept getting up, I agree with what Caden was saying. When he was in that corner, he looked like I, it looked like he was debating, like, maybe I should just get knocked out. That's how I interpreted how he was looking, you know? And the reason why I deducted another five points is because your man's been ducking Deontay Wilder. So that's why he's at 90. Moving on. You don't duck someone offering them a $120 million contract. That, I don't know how you duck someone doing that. He ducking. He ducking. He could have made it fitty fitty, and we could have got it popping, you know. Yeah, here, and, over and, there, and, anywhere. And, and he would have robbed himself because look at the position Wilder's in right now. <laughs> Wilder's wishing he took that money. All right, so that creates an average of ninety-five for Hart for Anthony Joshua. So now we get to boxing IQ. Ned, what do you rate? His I get IQ. It. AJ's IQ a 90 because he's he's a student in the game. He doesn't know it all, but he's always willing to learn. He's always willing to improve his craft. And after, like we saw in Ruiz 1, AJ Ruiz 1, he took a beating, but everybody was skeptical, like, yo, he should take a tuna fight. He should do this. He should do that. He giving them all types of advice. He should fire his team. He should replace everyone. He stuck with his team. He changed up his game, became a new strategy, and then he came out a victor in the second fight. So that's why I gave him 90, because he shows that he could go back, learn from, change the drawing board, and then utilize his new strategy. So, yeah. True dollar bizzle. <laughs> I swore I, I said this already, but uh, 95. 95 on AJ. AJ gets a 95. AJ is a student of the game. You know what I'm saying? AJ is a student of the game. He showed that he can uh, make adjustments in there, and he's willing to learn. He's not one of those uh, one-trick ponies. You know what I'm saying? And he said he's he he knows that he he still knows that he's still learning. I hate when fighters say, um, "If it ain't broke, don't fix it." You know what I'm saying? <laughs> nah, that's not what AJ. AJ's always trying to improve and get better. So you got to give him a 95. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so I'll share my screen. And Trill gives AJ 95, and I give AJ 92. So we're basically in agreement. Uh, for me, boxing IQ isn't what you what you know at this particular point in time, but also your ability to absorb and learn. And if you look at Anthony Joshua, after this fight with Ruiz, he had enough boxing IQ to understand what I'm doing is not enough. He brought in new trainers uh, to help him, and then he was able to learn that footwork and that boxing ability within the span of six months. And a lot of people didn't think he can do it. You can go back to footage of uh, Mayweather Boxing Club and everyone picking Ruiz and everyone making Ruiz sound like one of the most dangerous men to ever box. And, oh, Andy Joshua King box. Oh, he's robotic. Oh, he has no footwork. And in six months, he put on a beautiful display of boxing and he was able to absorb and implement all that stuff. So it's one thing to be able to understand, recognize, and go into camp. But to have the IQ and the ability to learn the strategy, learn the techniques, and then on fight night, go in and actually implement it, you have to take those things into consideration. And even when Andy Ruiz tried to go uh, Anthony Joshua into a slugfest, there were moments where he could have reverted to the old Anthony Joshua, but he had the mindset to say, that's not good for me. I'm sticking with the plan. Whereas Amir Khan, he'll be winning the majority of the rounds, but just have that lapse of judgment that gets him knocked out. AJ implemented the plan. That's high IQ. All right, G. All right, so I'm going to break it down similar to how I broke down stamina, right? Because I, I view it as there's two different uh, Anthony Joshua's. The, the one before the Ruiz 2 and the Ruiz 2 Anthony Joshua. So – Beforehand, I gave his boxing IQ actually a 70. And the reason why is because AJ actually has great, uh, like, punching selection. Uh, however, his defense to me is questionable because he's fundamentally sound until he gets tired. And then once he becomes tired, he drops his hands a lot, but he still moves forward. So he still gets hit with unnecessary shots. And so it, it – it, I think we should have had a category of defense, but it's whatever. I'm, I have to put this into boxing IQ. And so because of his poor that performance. Is boxing IQ. Yeah. So because of his poor performance with the stamina, it affected his defense. And because of that, he used to get hit with unnecessary shots a lot. And so I gave him a 70 for that. However, with the Andy Ruiz fight, I had to give him a 95 for that performance for two major things. Similar to what Caden and Trill um, said the major adjustments that he made to me shows that clearly he has high boxing IQ and he has a great team behind him to implement a strategy that's effective. Andy Ruiz clearly has faster hands and, you know, Andy Ruiz, he's a knockout artist and we know he's kind of slimy with the hooks. He's going for behind the ear. We see that a lot of heavyweights do it and he was prepared for all of that. And so, he knew, like, okay, I'm not going to engage with Ruiz. In the moments where I thought he was going to, he thought about it, and he said, no, nah, I'm good, you know? And so he stuck to the game plan. Um, and that's one of the major things that I love about Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather just says, hey, I'm going for the win. I don't need to knock the dude out. I just need to win. And Anthony Joshua showed that. So I averaged that out from earlier AJ as a 70 Current AJ at 95. I don't even know if this is current AJ. I'm just saying based off of one fight. I hope this uh, performance continues on in his career. But as of right now, 70, 95, I averaged it out to 82.5. So I guess you could give me an 83 for uh, boxing IQ. All right. So we have an That comes to a 90. So now we'll get his overall. 92, 87, 85, 87, 89, 95, and 90. For an overall. 
of 89 for Anthony Joshua. I respect that. This is like overall. What should I get for um Fury overall? In, uh, 93. Wilder? 93? And what did Wilder get? <laughs> you said what? 76? 78. 78? But Wilder, um, I'll pull him up. Hold on. Wilder's rating was mainly because his IQ. So if you look at his power, his speed, his stamina, his chin, footwork, Yo, and heart. I really gave a 32 Yo, IQ. bro, you you got you can't lie. His IQ is very low, bro. Yeah, yeah, his, but his that, IQ is 30, extremely low. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Oh, Yo, man. G, G, yeah. that's what it averaged it out to me. You know what I'm saying? Because I gave, like you said, I gave uh, AJ the 95, but I gave Wilder. The 75. I gave Wilder a 75. Gee, right, right. you pretty Rating lucky, team. yo. They didn't count my stats as certain stats I gave for Wilder. So you because you know, some of your stats was like hate. Nah, a lot, a lot of, I'm gonna be real. We shouldn't have counted some of G stats either, but I, I still counted them. Hold on, like, what you talking about? Yo, what's that? Some, 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 yo, Anthony Joshua should be at minimum a 90. But like, you know, yo, 89, my stats, 89, 89 is not oh. bad. But, hold on, hold but on, you, on. you drag I down agree. his average a lot. You drag no, down his average a lot. I had I had higher scores than some of you guys on a couple of things for, for AJ. some, but 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 on some you were you were like oh nah I was on stamina stamina I gave him a seventy three right because I'm factoring in his entire career. You guys are just factoring in his last performance. No no no, to, no 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 not at all. I'm factoring his whole career. Like I said exactly. before, for a big bulky guy, I'd never seen him with his mouth open. Breathing heavy. You I'm, know what I'm saying? And then to talk he did about that, the he did AJ in the Carlos fight, Tackle fight. In he, he did that in the Carlos but, Tackle but, fight. But he, he did that he, in the Ruiz listen, one fight. You know what I mean? Listen, like I didn't see him. I never I didn't see him like look, every fight, listen, some fights are gonna be tougher than the others. You know what I'm saying? Even though he probably Big lost the, even though he probably lost to Andy Ruiz, the Tekken fight was probably his, his toughest fight. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like uh uh uh, uh Floyd said Emmanuel Augustus was his toughest fight. No, I agree with you, Trill. That's what I'm saying. I, I'm not. What I'm saying is, like, I was fair and balanced. Mm -hmm. I was uh, objective. That's cool. And that's how, that's how you view it. I'll say to you like this: Anthony Joshua's stamina is better than Deontay Wilder's boxing IQ. There's no doubt about that. I, I mean, so whatever, yeah. whatever you want to <laughs> think, whatever yeah. you want to think about that. There's no debating that. And so I know, that's big facts. That's not my okay. argument. Though. All right, all right. So Wilder um, don't deserve no thirty though. That's what I'm Yo, saying. bro, can you tell me, yo, Deontay Wilder has no box IQ. All right, I this is about Anthony Joshua, so I don't want to make yeah. it. Well, <laughs> but I'm just telling you, bro, no adjustments in seven rounds of getting pounded. No answers, no changes, no different. Just throw the right hand, throw the right hand, throw the right hand. How is that high boxing IQ from his corner? Hold and on, hold on. I never said he had high boxing IQ now. No, no, no. Don't mess up my well, words. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm just saying. We're going to do a ratings review. We're going to do a ratings review. Exactly. You know what? We'll give you. We'll give you. No, no. I already know what we're going to do, people. We're going to do a ratings review for Deontay Wilder with G and Complex. Okay? Word, word. All right. Yo, we're actually going to do that. Real rap. Yeah, yeah. All right. So, Trill, take us home, man. Please like and subscribe. Check us out on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And also check out our podcast on all major streaming services. It's the best show out here. It's the Boxing Bros. Big facts.